Let's talk about another version of weave pass. This time, I'm going to control my partner's legs and their shoulder with the lapel. This is actually quite interesting. Sometimes you might find yourself in a position as the moment you start reaching in, your partner is very mobile, they move their hips, they move their shoulders, it becomes a little bit less accessible. This particular version is really powerful for a mobile partner, right? When they are very moving a lot. So, as I'm reaching towards the shoulder, I have the lapel available. So take a look. I'm gonna reach mid-level and I'm gonna feed it towards the hand that's under hooking the leg. So instead of controlling the bottom leg like we would do in a traditional weave pass, I'm going to grip the lapel. A benefit of this part right here is that I'm controlling his shoulder actually. If I double grip, now it gives me a lot of power to pull my partner in. And even if they are trying to break my grips, I have a large control of this entire system, entire process. My shoulder's right on top. So I'm still controlling their knees, bringing them together. Now this is the tricky part. I don't want to sprawl back because right now I don't have control of the bottom leg. That's the sacrifice that I'm making. I'm controlling the top leg and I'm controlling the shoulder. I don't have control of the bottom leg. So how can I control the bottom leg and take advantage of it? Take a look. As I get up on my toes and I lean in, I'm gonna bring my knee underneath my partner. What I'm trying to achieve is his leg being up and I slide my knee right into the hip, right? And then I can back step. Take a look as we go through these motions. So I'm controlling the lapel, I'm gonna lean forward and drop the knee inside. And as I step back, notice the positioning of their leg. Their knee is being driven towards the shoulder, which creates the top leg being the leading leg. So if I switch my hip and sprawl now, I'm in the ultimate position of knee side smash. Gaining control of the shoulder, I already have control of the lapel. Now I can simply walk trap the legs and pass right to the side. Let's take a peek at this from a slightly different angle. So again, knees are available, lapel is available. I'm gonna grip mid chest, under hook, and enforce my gripping right under. Pulling my partner in is gonna bring more success to me. Remember, I need to come underneath his bottom leg. That's the trick. So if I lean forward and I push him up, there's the hip elevate, there's the knee elevated off the ground. Bringing my knee under, switching, allows me now to control my partner's hip. Switching my hip again puts him in a knee side smash. Feeding my hand and controlling the shoulder puts me in a beautiful position where I can control the hip, they have limited mobility. Now I can continue on passing. Let's take a look one more time from completely opposite side. Do it this way. The other side. This way. Yes. Boom. Excellent. Excellent. Control the lapel. All right. I'm gonna lean in, lift, drop. As my leg clears, I'm gonna step, and we are right in my position. Releasing the hand and switching to control of the shoulder, now I can walk and trap his feet. Once he is in the position of L, easy pass right to the side. Beautiful alternative, <coughs> beautiful alternative when it comes to weave pass, yet it is so powerful once you gain the control of the lapel. Give it a shot.